Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. It's me, Dr. Vijay Kumar. I am making lecture videos for the benefit of mechanical engineering students. If this is your first time and not yet subscribed, please do hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell icon so that to get notified all my forthcoming brand videos. Right. In the previous video, we have solved two numerical problems on flywheel design, which I called it as a type 1 problems. Type 1 problems are nothing but the problems in which the turning moment diagrams are directly given in terms of areas above and below the meet arc line. So we are going to solve a numerical problem, which I call it as a type 2 problem, wherein the turning moment diagram description will be given and using the turning moment diagram we must be determining all the record data as usual are you ready to solve type 2 problems yes so let's get started there you are for the simplification i would like to classify flywheel problems under four types these are those four types of flywheel problems. Clear? We have solved two type 1 problems in our earlier videos. What we are going to do in this video is we are going to solve type 2 numerical problem. Okay? Let me quickly recap all the prerequisite concepts that are required while solving the problems. You know that. For the design of flywheel, turning moment diagram is so important. Whenever they give you the turning moment diagram, we must be calculating mean top line first, then using which we have to determine maximum fluctuation of energy delta E. Right? How can I find T mean? So T mean multiplied by cycle crank angle is equal to area of the turning moment diagram. By using that logic, we can find T mean. Delta E, we know the formula, maximum energy minus minimum energy. Sometimes when diagrams are given, area above the mean torque line, if you can find, it will directly give you the delta E value, right? Now we have energy stored in a flywheel expression. Delta E is equal to I omega square Cs, which is equal to Mk square omega square Cs, using which we can determine mass, radius of gyration, or coefficient of fluctuation of speed parameters. Am I right? These are the expressions that can be used to determine various dimensions of the flywheel rims. This is what I am talking about. In our previous lecture, we have solved two numerical problems under type 1. Okay, right. Shall we solve the numerical problem? Yes, this is the problem. Shall we read the statement carefully? Yeah. The variation of crankshaft torque of a four cylinder petrol engine may be approximately represented by taking the torque as zero for crank angles zero degree and 180 degree. Very interesting. They have given us turning moment diagram description. Torque is zero when theta equal to zero degree and 180 degree, right? And as 260 Newton meter for crank angles 20 degree and 45 degree. That means at theta equal to 20 degree and at theta equal to 45 degree, the turning moment value is 260 Newton meter. Clear? Right. The intermediate portion of the top graph being straight line. So all the intermediate portions of that turning moment graph being straight line. The first paragraph they have given us the description of the turning moment diagram using which we have to draw the diagram first and then we have to attack the problem in the same manner. Is that clear? Yes. The cycle is being repeated in every off revolution. That means after 180 degree of crank rotation, the cycle keeps repeating. What do you mean by that? We have to draw the turning moment diagram only up to 180 degree, that is enough. After that, the cycle will be keep repeating. The average speed is 600 RPM. 
So n is given there. Supposing that the engine drives the machine requiring constant torque, what they mean by that? They mean T mean is constant, straight line. Okay. Determine mass of the flywheel, M, of radius of gyration of 250 mm, K is given, which must be provided so that total variation of the speed shall be 1%. So they mean to say that coefficient of fluctuation of speed 0 0.01. Also determine the crank angles at which the speed has its minimum and maximum values. So we are going to find theta values at which the speed of the flywheel will be minimum and maximum. Is that clear? Yes. There you are. It is given as a four cylinder petrol engine. So, this is what we have four cylinder petrol engine, the end of the crankshaft, we are having the flywheel. Am I right? RPM of the flywheel is given, radius of gyration of the flywheel is given as 0 0.25 meter, total fluctuation of speed is 1% given. That means CS value is equal to 1%, 0 0.01, data for turning moment diagram is given in the form of description. That's what we call it as a type 2 problem. What are the things we need to find? We have to determine mass of the flywheel M and the crank angles at which speed will be maximum and minimum. Yes. What we will do? We have given the RPM. So immediately as always let we can easily determine angular velocity of the flywheel. So, omega is equal to 2 pi n by 60. Substituting there, we can find the omega value as 62.83 radian per second. Right? Let us go to step number one. We are going to draw a conceptual sketch of turning moment diagram. When I say conceptual sketch, it need not to be drawn to the scale. This is the problem. So, I am going to draw the turning moment diagram. What is a cycle crank angle? 180 degree. So I have drawn that 180 degree. Okay. They mentioned here in the problem that torque value 0 at theta is equal to 0 and at 180 degree. So here torque value 0, right? At 180 degree, torque value is 0. Clear? They're given as torque value as 260 newton meter for what crank angles when theta is equal to 20 degree and 45 degree so approximately let us assume this is 20 degree this is 45 degree at 20 degree and 45 degree it's 260 newton meter so let us assume this is that 260 mark What is that? At 20 degree and at 45 degree, what is the value of torque? 260 Newton meter. Excellent. Now what is given now? The intermediate portions of the torque being straight line. All other intermediate portions are straight line. So 0 to 20 degree straight line. 20 to 45 straight line. Where are my cycle ends? Cycle ends at 180 degree. So from there I can draw this. This is the turning moment diagram. Is it? Now T mean line.
there you are. We have completed the conceptual turning moment diagram. Right? Once you draw the turning moment diagram, our aim is to find delta E for which first we have to find T mean value. So we know that T mean multiplied by theta is equal to work done per cycle. Right? So my next step would be to find work done per cycle. So work done per cycle is equal to area of this turning moment diagram. O, A, B, C, O. So how can I find this area? To determine the area, what can I do? Since it is like a composite area, I can split them into uh, basic sections. How? I can divide this into one triangle, O, A, J, then one rectangle, A, B, K, J, then another bigger triangle, B, K, C. First, let me find area of O, A, J. What is the formula of B, H? What is B? B is 20 degree. Can I put 20 degree? We have to convert into radians. Am I right? So we are converting the base 20 degree crank angle into equivalent radians. How? By multiplying it with by pi by 180 degree. What is the H value? A J value. What is that? 260 Newton meter. Same way I could find area of rectangle A B K J. Fantastic. We have got area of the rectangle ABKJ. Now what I am going to do? We are going to find area of this right angle triangle BKC. How? Same formula of BH. Right. On simplification, I am getting work done per cycle as right. But what's our aim? Our aim is to find the T mean value. Okay. Now I could substitute this value. T mean as area under the curve we just got. What is this a cycle crank angle? 180 degree, isn't it? Which is equal to pi radians. From this, we can find T mean value. What is our next step? Once we know the T mean value, we can very well determine maximum fluctuation of energy, which is nothing but delta E. Delta E is the difference between maximum energy minus minimum energy. We know that flywheel speed at the ends the energy will be maximum at point H. And its speed and energy will be minimum at point E. In order to find delta E, the area above this mean torque line which are shaded here will give us the maximum fluctuation of energy. So we know that maximum fluctuation of energy is equal to area above mean torque line. This is the logic. Clear? So, what is that area of above T mean line? Area of EA, B, H and E, this area. This composite area I can split into three simple areas. One is triangle AEF rectangle A, B, G, F, another one is right angle triangle B, H, G. What 
what is that uh, area of uh, AEF of BH? Plus area of rectangle. Plus area of right angle triangle BGH. In this, do we know EF value? No. Do you know GH value? No. How can I find? I am going to apply concept of similar triangles. Right. From similar triangles, A, O, J and A, E, F, I can find E, F. O, J, 20 degree. A, F. What is this height? Can you tell me the height? 260 Newton meter minus 148 Newton meter. What is AJ? AJ, the complete height is how much? 260. From this, we can very well determine the EF value 8.61 degree. Okay. Now, here I could write this. Excellent. Now, we'll go to area of this rectangle. Length FG, FG is 45 degree minus 20 degree. There you are. We got area of the rectangle. Okay. Now let us find the area of the triangle BGH. Do you know GH value? No. How can you find? The same logic. So from similar triangles B, G, H and B, K, C, we can write On simplification, we will get GH value. So I am getting 58.15. So once we get GH value, we can find the area of triangle BGH. Right. By calculation, I am getting the value as 114 Newton meter. So we have determined the delta E value. Okay. Once we know the delta E value, we can very well find mass of the flywheel. What is the formula? We know that delta E is equal to M K square omega square Cs. Right, in which delta E, just now we have found M is what we need to determine K value given, omega we have already found, CS value 1% given. So just by substitution, we must be getting the value. Am I right?
So just by doing the calculation, I am getting M value as 46.2 kg is the required answer. Right. So let us see the next data. We have to find crank angles at which the speed has its minimum and maximum values. As you are aware, during a cycle, at one point, speed of the flywheel would be maximum. And the other point, speed of the flywheel would be minimum. Can you identify those points now in this turning moment diagram? Yes. Here, we have deficient energy and the ends at the point E, speed will be minimum for a flywheel. Then we start getting the surplus energy. So fly will start storing energy from point E onwards. It keeps storing till point H. That means at H, energy stored by the fly will be maximum. Or in other words, the speed of the fly will would be high at point H. Clear? Yeah. Now we need to find theta value at which the speed is minimum, which will be here, theta E. And similarly, we need to find the crank angle, you know, corresponding to point H. Clear? Yes. So now I will find theta E. Theta E is nothing but DE. If you know DF minus EF. What is DF? 20 degree there. What is EF? We just found. EF is 8.61. So that means at 11.39 degree flywheel speed will be minimum. But same way we have to find the angle at which flywheel speed will be maximum where it would be at point H. How can I find this angle? Theta H. So theta H is equal to 45 degree plus KH or plus GH. Already in our previous step, we have determined this GH, which is nothing but 58.15 degree. All right. That means when crank angle is at 103.15 degree, flywheel speed will be maximum, except. That's it. It's the end of the problem. I have given you a, a similar numerical problem for practice. So try this problem at your home and check your answers. Okay? Having solved type 1 and type 2 problems, in our next video, we are going to solve type 3 numerical problem where turning moment diagram will be given in the form of mathematical expression equation. Okay, excellent. Hope this video helped you to understand the concept and the numerical problem solution clearly. If so, please do not forget to like this video, share it to your friends and subscribe the channel. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Take care. Bye.